Today, we're going to be looking at the top five most overpowered guns in Modern Warfare 3. And all these weapons on this list, I think, deserve to be ranked higher than they actually are on the tier list of weapons because they're so good, they're so broken. And if you use the right class setup, which I'm going to give you guys the right class setup, you will absolutely go off on people with these guns. Now, there's one gun on this list that I will recommend above any other gun in the game, and I only recently started using it. You guys may already got the class if you watched my recent video this week. We're going to get into that one in a second. It is just completely broken so i want to share that with you guys for sure but i need you guys to do me a huge favor i need you guys to drop a like on this video i normally don't ask for them up front but I, if you guys could do that help the videos rank a little higher i would truly appreciate that sub to the channel there's no need turned on and let's get into the first weapon on this list so the first one i want to talk about is actually the ram 9 now the ram 9 is an smg that i think deserves to be the number one smg in the game okay this thing is an smg that has range it has mobility this thing is fast and it has such a fast fire rate that you will drop people most likely faster than practically every, every other smg in the game i think the only one that stands a chance 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 up with it is the hrm 9 that's probably one of the only ones at the moment but this thing is absolutely a beam so let's get into the class setup the first thing that we're going to run on this one is the dr6 handstop now i'm going to move my face make it a little smaller here so you guys can see what i'm talking about we got the dr6 handstop for the underbarrel, which is really great then we got the 50 round mag for the magazine we got the retort 90 grip the ft polycomb for the comb and then the cronin mini dot right here so you guys can see all of those really nice attachments to go ahead and use onto your gun let's go into each attachment and kind of talk about why they're all good so first off with the under barrel the dr6 hand stop we're getting a lot of mobility and we're getting a lot of handling so your ads is going to be up your sprint to fire is going to be up your movement everything is pretty much going to be up your crouch movement speed all that kind of stuff is going to be up with that attachment and then we got the 50 round mags which kind of makes everything a little slower but you get to reload this gun a lot less so really worth throwing on as well and i would always recommend throwing it on especially on an smg like this that shoots really really quick you want to make sure that you're not reloading every two seconds so having that is really nice and then we got the cronin mini dot the iron sight's nice on the ram 9 don't get me wrong but when you get to mid range and long range you kind of want to have something that's a little more precise and the cronin mini dot is there for that then we got the ft polycomb for the comb and this one's great because you're getting all that sort of recoil control the gun kick control the aiming idle sway all that is going to be under control with that attachment and it makes it really really nice and then finally right here we got the retort 90 grip again giving us more firing instability gun kick control recoil control and all of that so we got a lot of a lot of quickness on this gun a lot of ammo to like back us up in gunfights, and then a lot of recoil control so this thing's a laser this class is actually amazing and i would always recommend the ram 9 now another weapon that i want to talk about is actually the one that i was telling you guys earlier about that is probably one of the better weapons in the game and i just recently started using this class for it and it's just absolutely a beam all right this thing is an absolute beam it's the mtz 556 now the mtz 556 the class that i made for it a lot of you guys were actually leaving comments down below in that video saying how good it was you, you came back to the video just to tell me that you guys went off with it and i was so happy to see how many people actually went off of this and i read all the comments so it's really nice to see that this class it seems to be a lot of people's favorite so i'm going to share it with you if you've never seen it guys get ready because this thing is disgustingly overpowered now before we get into the actual attachments what i want to do with this class right here is i want to show you guys the firing range just so you can see what i'm talking about so we're going to go here we're going to start off at long range and we're just going to hit our shots all right it has a little bit of vertical recoil as you guys saw now if we actually control the recoil a little bit easier instead of just letting it do its own thing we're going to see how easy it is to hit every single shot mid range is a laser as well and then up close is a laser as well so you would think that this gun isn't that good but it actually is the 80 is not bad for a gun that's built for recoil control and if you use this on on multiplayer with aim assist and all that it actually is a lot easier to control now here's the class for it the muzzle is going to be the vt7 spirit fire suppressor then we got the under barrel which is the bruin heavy support grip the mtz heavy long barrel the 50 round drum you guys can see like that's that's kind of a pattern in this video i like the 50 round drum all right and then the nidar model 2023 i've never used this before but it's actually a nice sight like it does look small someone left a comment saying it looks like it's just going to snap right off the gun and it does it really does look like that it, it's super tiny it's super fragile but it's honestly a very nice thing now we're gonna get into all these like i said we're gonna go into all of these talk about them quickly and why i chose what i did end up choosing so the the vt7 spirit fire the muzzle makes you undetected by radar it, it, it is one of those type of things like it's it's a suppressor so it does what it does but it also gives you damage range bullet velocity and recoil control so it's giving you five percent effective 
and minimum damage range, and it's giving you 7% bullet velocity, which is really nice, especially if you're using this on Warzone, that actually does work as well, but then you're getting 7% horizontal and vertical recoil control as well with it, so I think it's really nice to use. Then for the barrel, we're running the MTZ Drifter, and again, this one is for bullet velocity and range, just to make us even better, and you're getting 28% of effective and minimum damage range, and then your bullet velocity is going up 15%, so it's really good. You're getting recoil control, gun kick control. This gun is just an absolute beam all right like it's definitely worth having then the underbarrel is the bruin heavy support grip and again horizontal recoil control we got gun kick control we're getting aiming uh, idle sway firing aim stability we're losing some ads and the vertical recoil is a little worse but you guys are watching the gameplay in the background this thing is so broken it's so broken you got to use it man then we got the 50 round mags not much to say there yeah, it's gonna make you a little slower but worth having and the nidar model 2023 for the optic which again is really really good now another weapon that i want to get into for the number three spot on this video is the striker smg the striker smg is a slept on smg a lot of people are using the striker 9 a lot of people are using the wsp swarm a lot of people are just using a lot of different stuff this here is a laser at mid-range and long range for an smg and it's actually solid up close as well it's actually really nice to use up close now this gun as you guys can see right here is a beautiful class setup all right now the one thing i hate about it is the jack bfb i hate it but it works all right it does work it makes this gun look how laser accurate this gun is all right so it's still fast it's so quick for an smg and there's just no recoil practically whatsoever and at long range it's really nice for an SMG. Like, it's not hard to hit shots whatsoever. So we got the Jack BFB to thank for that. Then we got the Striker Recon Long Barrel, the .45 Auto High Grain. Now, you might be thinking, why are you running this? Well, you're getting bullet velocity and damage range, and there's no enemy skulls. So it's actually really good. You're getting some recoil with it, a lot, actually. But you guys saw the firing range. It doesn't look like it at all. So really nice to have. And then we got the... This one right here, the Lockman Mark II Light Stock and the Tack Grip, all one word for the rear grip right there. So honestly, I'm going to go back to the gameplay here so you guys can see it in the background. It is a solid class. Now the Jack BFB muzzle, we're losing a lot of ADS, 15 and 15 sprint to fire as well. But we're getting 55 gun kick recoil control, horizontal 20 and vertical 35. So in my opinion, the Jack BFB is actually really worth throwing onto your class. Then we got the Striker Recon Long Barrel, which again is really good for bullet velocity and range and aiming idle sway. So this thing right here, you can already see the range on this gun is AR range and it has the speed of an SMG. So it's really worth running in my opinion. I already showed you guys the 0.45 auto high grain round. So we're gonna skip that, go straight to the stock right here, which is the Lockman Mark II light stock. And this one's gonna give you movement speed and sprint speed, okay? You're not getting sprint to fire speed. You're not getting ADS, but it gives you that movement speed and sprint speed that this gun kind of needs. Cause it feels like it's lacking in terms of movement speed. So if you throw this on, you're at least gonna feel like you're running around with an SMG rather than an AR. Without this, it's, it feels a little heavy. But we'll, I'll be completely honest with you guys. And then finally for the rear grip, we got the tack grip, which is gonna give us a decent amount of spread to fire at 8%, but we're also getting tack stand spread at 21%, which I'm not crazy about, but I'm using this mostly for the sprint to fire and it works, it just works, all right? So don't expect this to be the world's fastest class or anything, but it doesn't have any recoil. Like it is a straight laser beam. So I, I, that's what I really like about that one right there. After that, we're gonna move on to another class, which is the H. RM9. And this one is the number four weapon on this list, I believe. This one is another class that I think is actually insane. But I'll be honest with you guys, some of you didn't like it. And I, I understand why a lot of you guys didn't like it. It does have quite a bit of recoil. Let me go into the firing range here. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Like the recoil is, it's quite hefty. But what I would suggest is using this gun right here for small maps. I wouldn't use it on large maps, wouldn't use it on medium sized maps. I would use it strictly for small maps because if you see it does have a lot of kick i'm gonna start shooting i'm gonna put it right here probably on the guy's chest area or stomach area as you guys can see and i'm gonna let go of my right joystick i'm not gonna control the recoil at all and as you guys can see i pulled it at the end right there i'm, I'm supposed to not control it I'll, I'll, I'll redo that just so i can show you guys i'm not gonna control it at all and as you guys can see it just bounces up and up and up it's not good okay it's actually not good but if you control it you can even hit those mid-range shots pretty easily it's that initial bump up that's really really bad and i think that's what a lot of you guys didn't like but uh, don't use this gun on long range is what i'm trying to say don't use it on big maps it's strictly a shipment class maybe maybe a stash house possibly you could get away with using it there but any anything other than that 
I wouldn't really use this class on, but for those, it's actually really good. So the barrel is a Thorn 90 barrel. The Bruin Heavy Support Grip is the underbarrel. The Tack Handler Grip is the rear grip. And then the Hatchet Light Stock is the stock and the Chrono Mini Dot for the optic. Now, why is this class full of bounce? Well, that's because of a few things. So the Thorn 90 barrel is giving us five ADS and eight Sprint to Fire, but it's taking away horizontal and vertical recoil at five and six respectively. Not great. Not good, but it's not the worst either. Now, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip is actually giving us gun kick control. It's giving us horizontal recoil control, aiming idle sway, and firing aiming stability, which you would think this gun, with all of those pros on it, would be a lot better, but it's also taking away vertical recoil control. Again, so it's not the best option to throw on, but it is really nice in terms of controlling all the other recoil patterns. So if you could control vertical recoil, which is the easiest to control, it's a good attachment to throw on. Then we got the Chrono Mini Dock for the Optic. That does nothing for recoil, nothing for ADS, nothing at all. Then we got the Hatchet Light Stock. Okay, this one is for ADS, movement speed, all that kind of stuff. And when you throw on something like that, it's going to take away recoil control, and it does. So yeah, there's that as well. And then finally, the Tack Handler Grip for tax and Spread and that important Sprint to Fire at 10% is taking away 6% recoil, gun kick, horizontal, and vertical. So it's pretty bad in terms of recoil, but if you're using it on the smaller maps, guys, it's worth running, in my opinion. At least in my opinion, it's worth running. Now, the final weapon that we're going to be talking about today is the SVA-545. And again, this is another one that I need to jump into the firing range to show you guys just how good it actually is. So let's do that right here. Let's go to the firing range. It's really good up close, even though it's an AR. It's really good at mid-range, which you would expect. And then at long range, again, it's really, really good. Now, because I also use this class kind of kind of for, well, no, actually not really. My, my Warzone class has like two different attachments, so I wouldn't say it's the same, but in all fairness, it's very similar to my Warzone class. Now, the muzzle is the VT7 Spirit Fire right here, as you guys can see. You're undetectable by radar, recoil, gun kick control, bullet velocity, and damage range. It's really nice. You're getting a lot of stuff with some of these attachments on this, and that's what gives it like that, that very easy to control recoil. Then the barrel is the STV Precision Barrel, which is aiming at also a bullet velocity and range, gun kick control, and recoil control. So you're getting a lot of that as well. Then we got the X10 Phantom 5 Handstop, which is vertical recoil control, gun kick control, ADS, and sprint to fire. That, in my opinion, is insane. You're getting ADS and sprint to fire along with a vertical recoil control and gun kick control. That is unheard of in most attachments, so I would definitely throw that if I were you guys. And it's not like you're getting a bad amount either. You're getting 6% ADS, 8% sprint to fire speed, 4% recoil gun kick control, and 5% vertical recoil control. So really worth having on. The Chrono Mini Dot, again, that's a pattern in this video. Really like that one a lot. And then finally, the Citadel Grip for gun kick control. ADS again, and recoil control. So you're not really sacrificing much ADS on this class, or sprint to fire for that matter. You're getting a lot of recoil, but you're getting a lot of speed as well with it. So these are these are some great guns in my opinion. And I just wish people use these guns more often. They're, they're pretty slept on. The SVA is probably used most from most of these weapons on this list. But yo, man, you guys got to use these ones. Let me know what you guys think of them down in the comments below. Drop a like on this video. Thank you guys for watching. Sub the channel if you're new around here with those notes turned on. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.